Hey there, I got a question for you. Do you like living life? Do you appreciate every breath you take? Well, if you enjoy it so much, why are you wasting precious time engaging in such poor habits? Did you know that 70% of American adults engage in some form of life-shortening activity? If you have more than three bad habits, you are six times more likely to be in poor health. I know you guys are probably sick of being scolded for every exercise you skip or piece of fried food you choose to shove in your mouth. We're only trying to help. Let's take a look at seven habits that can shorten your lifespan. Let's just say you won't look at air travel the same way or sex. Before we begin, you know what doesn't shorten your lifespan? Hitting that bell and subscribing to our channel for more informative content. Running. Yes, I just said it, running. How's that for kicking off a list? We all know the benefits of a good workout, but did you know that there's such thing as getting too much exercise? In a study of 3,800 runners, 70% claimed to run over 20 miles a week. While this might seem impressive, experts would say otherwise. Running can put serious stress on your heart most who die while running do so through a heart attack. Heavy water consumption leads to low sodium, which can result in hyponatremia. Warm temperatures are also a factor, making runners susceptible to heat stroke if they're not careful. If you're a daily sprinter, don't try to prove anything to anyone. Make sure you know your personal limit and stop when you feel as though you've had enough. Loneliness. Cherish every friend you make. If you've ever lived on your own before, you'd know that loneliness can be just around the corner. While some bury themselves in their work and hobbies, others may have trouble finding such solutions. As of 2012, more than one in four American households were single-person homes. This may be due to people marrying later on in life, among other factors. Either way, it's one incredibly sad statistic. We've all seen that movie where the lonely guy stays cooped up in the house until he goes absolutely bonkers. We're not saying that's going to be you. However, loneliness can put your head in a dark place. Those who are isolated from other humans experience feelings of sadness, withdrawal, and depression. Those who remain socially isolated for long periods of time and engaged in little to no physical activity have an increased early death risk of 29%. Still not enough? Loneliness has the same health risk as smoking 15 cigarettes per day. This has the potential to shorten your life by eight whole years. That's why it's so important to venture outside, meet new people, and discover new activities. Remember, just go easy on the running. Smoking. This one's obvious, but who doesn't love the greatest hits? Let's just cut to the chase. Stop smoking. It's unhealthy and a complete drag for others to be around. Smokers come in all different shapes and sizes, but one thing bringing all 1.8 billion of them together is that they all are losing years of their life. Not convinced? Let's try this. Smoking cigarettes reduces your life expectancy by double-digit numbers. For females, 11 years. For men, it's 12. However, quitting before age 40 can lower your risk of smoke-related death by 90%. So grab a pack of gum, get on a patch, and do your best to kick that nicotine habit. Air travel. 40% of airplane passengers report a fear of crashing. However, the chances of it happening to you are one in five million. While hearing those numbers can be reassuring, planes can be lethal in more subtle ways. Upon hitting the mark of 39,000 feet, humans are exposed to 64 times more cosmic radiation than at sea level. The higher you get in the sky, the fewer molecules there are to shield you from the cosmic rays. Due to their exposure to this radiation, astronauts, are often at a higher risk of developing cancer in the long run. But you don't have to delve into the outer regions of the cosmos for your health to be at risk. Take Tom Stuker, for example, 
an American traveler who as of 2017 clocked in 18 million miles of air travel. This is just throughout the United States over the past 14 years. I'm no expert, but I think someone owes the man some free flights. When the math is done, that's over 32,727 hours in the air. Within that time, Tom consumed an estimated 6,500 in-flight meals and 5,250 alcoholic drinks. We don't mean to put him on the spot, but he may have also been exposed to a radiation dose equal to 1,000 x-rays. While frequent flyer miles of that magnitude are not a 100% cancer risk, people with occupations that require air travel experience have higher cancer rates. Cabin crew members such as flight attendants have higher rates of cancer such as thyroid, skin, breast, colon, stomach, and liver. We understand, this is shocking to most of you. We're certainly not in the business of giving our audience cancer scares, but in reality, everyone's at risk for some type of cancer in their lifetime. Flying is just another activity with higher rates than usual. Being grumpy. You know how they say laughter is the best medicine? Well, that may be true after all. Did you know that people who laugh are 35% more likely to live longer? While that person with the obnoxious chuckle may be annoying, they're probably healthier than you. That's assuming you don't laugh at all. If you happen to be a constant frowner walking around with a scowl on your mug, watch out. When one is angry, the muscles in your neck and scalp become tense. Stress and anxiety hormones are also activated, increasing your blood pressure. This results in an elevated heart rate. This should frighten anyone, especially men, who are three times more likely to suffer a heart attack due to anger. What's the lesson? Try to let out a laugh once in a while. Your body will thank you in ways you couldn't imagine. Releasing the odd guffaw after hearing something funny can increase one's blood flow and relax the muscles for up to 45 minutes. It's also known to strengthen the immune system by increasing cells in your body. This helps improve your resistance to certain diseases. Laughter is just so important. Those of you saying people can't tell certain jokes, stop it. Someone's life may hang in the balance. Unemployment. By now, you may be pounding your fist on the desk saying, is there anything in life that won't kill me? If that vein in your head is bulging out, please refer back to our last entry. Being self-employed can feel great. Being unemployed, however, bites. Not having proper employment can increase your risk of premature death by 63%. While unemployment rates in many parts of the world are declining, people who remain without jobs often struggle to find a sense of purpose. Loss of motivation can make you feel sluggish and unwanted. If a single person with no family doesn't hold employment, it's one less reason to get out of bed in the morning. In the United States, neighborhoods with higher percentages of unemployment will also see lower life expectancy. An increase of 10% in unemployment equals roughly a year and a half of the population's lifespan. This is due to the number of factors including lack of income, crime, and overall stress levels. If you happen to be out of work at the moment, don't sweat it. This is not a death sentence. It is, however, a frightening statistic. Having too much sex. Now, before you shut off this video, let's make one thing clear. This is not some secret effort to discourage you from getting laid. Leave population control for the conspiracy channels. Regardless, this one may divide people. It's true. Regular sex can help you burn calories, increase self-esteem, and reduce your risk of heart disease. However, too much of anything is bad, and sex is no exception. Did you know that some beetles mate every day? No, not the band members. I mean, I'm sure they did fine in that department. I'm referring to the actual bug. That's right. Apparently, they like to get freaky. They also happen to die fairly early. This is due to hormones in their body that damage their immune system. Those that don't mate at all die much later. 
How sex ed classes aren't teaching us this info is mind-boggling. After all, the same goes for humans. Upon having intercourse, your immune system is downgraded, opening the door for all types of diseases. Nuns are reported to live longer lives than married women. This is due to a strengthened immune system that fights off sicknesses. The next time you see that really old person in your neighborhood, give them a break. There's a reason why they're grumpy. So, what's your opinion? What bad habits of yours did we miss? Is there one you don't agree with? Sound off in the comment section and keep watching for more great bestie content. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos?